is underway. Well, Dixie's not here for the fans. He's here for himself. He, want, he had a taste of the gold a few years back, and he wants that gold back around his waist. But he's got the hungry newcomer, Nino Capone, with this crazy drop salt kicks, I guess you could call it. Both athletes actually look at Insane Dragon. That's the advantage that Dixie has, the Insane Dragon out at ringside. So as long as referee Hansen doesn't see anything, the advantage is definitely on the side of Dixie. But I was gonna say, Monster Mac, both athletes out to prove a point. Nino Capone wants to prove that, that he's worthy of being in the locker room of Jersey L Pro Wrestling, and Dixie's out to gain respect once again from the staff of JAP. Well, I think Dixie chose this match for a particular reason. You got a hot newcomer here at Nino Capone, and you want to make a statement. What better way to make a statement than by beating the winner of one of the biggest lightweight matches in Jersey All Pro history, Nino Capone. But you know some Dixie, he can go with anybody. I've been in the ring with him on his side against him, and you know, he hits just as hard as anybody. It goes to my theory that small guys with bony arms hit just as hard as big muscular dudes. And that kick right there just proved my point. The victim kick. The victim kick. Ask Nino Capone right now if Dixie doesn't hit hard. That's all I got to say. Right now, Dixie in sound control over the newcomer Capone. Nice suplex takeover. Dixie holding on. Went for a second one. Going to go for the trifecta here. The former Triple Crown champion out to embarrass Nino Capone. Nice fisherman suplex. Welcome to the left. And only a two count. And now Dixie arguing with referee Sean Hansen. But just to prove my point about Dixie, though, even though me and you disputed, he did beat Homicide in a match. Technically. Technically, yes, but he pinned his brother. How many people can say they've beaten, they won a match that Homicide was a Not many. All right, then, there you go. That's all I've got to say about that. I'm all for Dixie getting his belt back. And to be honest with you, a veteran Dixie against a veteran Homicide should make for quite a match. But I think Homicide has another person here in Jersey All-Pro to worry about. That person is Jay Lethal. Five stars. Frog splash by Nino Capone, wasting a lot of time. Dixie moving out of the way, and once again, the advantage, so to say, is on the, what he likes to call himself now, the quote-unquote legend of Jersey All Pro Wrestling, Dixie. I know all about legends, and you know something? Have you noticed a trend in the past Jersey All Pro shows? When people use Monster Max, Steve Monster Max moves, it doesn't work for them quite well. Just ask Nino, he tried the frog splash, Dixie moved. I taught Dixie well, wouldn't you say? Yes, you did. All right then, well, obviously if you see someone going to the top, you're gonna move. Dixie wasn't out enough, so he moved. Anyway, the legend, like you said, he's calling himself the legend. I agree with that. The only person that has more of a, more of a status, I guess you could say, would be Homicide, and that's because he's held the belt about a million times. You know what I mean? Or maybe a low key, because he's been all over the world. But, you know, come to think about it, Teddy Hart and Jack Evans, they got a couple, they got a couple points of status about Dixie. But you know something, Dixie's good. Don't get me wrong, Dixie's awesome. So now you're dissing Dixie. No, I'm not dissing Dixie at all. I'm just saying, right now, you know, he's at the bottom rung of the ladder. He's got to come back up. And to do that, he's got to get through a few of the guys that I mentioned. We all know the intestinal fortitude of Dixie has the ability to go straight to the top of Jersey All Pro Wrestling. He's just got to make it happen for himself. And right there, he did just that with that swinging DDT on Nino Capone, hook of the leg. But Capone got his foot on the bottom rope. And now Dixie, instead of arguing with referee Sean Hansen, should go right after his opponent. Well, uh, see, Dixie. The difference between Dixie a few months ago and the Dixie now is that before he cared about getting the fans behind him. He brought girls to the ring, partied and stuff like that. You know, but now he doesn't care if the fans boo or cheer him. He just wants the belts. That's all that matters. And like I said, Nino is the perfect way to start his road to get to the top. Dixie now on the top rope. Wasting a lot of time. Feet. Jumps off, nice elbow right to the heart by the former triple, triple Crown champion. Very, very arrogant cover by Dixie and Capone easily getting that shoulder up. If he would have hooked the leg, if he would have went on the entire body of Nino Capone, Dixie might be the victor right now. Well, Dixie, I guess he felt he had control, but you see, after he got kicked, after he kicked out of that move, that elbow, Dixie went right back to work on the neck, but Capone now he versus, got a series of counters. Insane Dragon. Oh! Carnival mistake by the H-Effect. Dixie kicking his own partner. Nice 
clothesline by Nito Capone, and it was mistakes like that, Monsimac, that broke up Youth Gone Wild in the summer of 2001. Nah, it was me and Moth being inside Dixie's head, to be honest with you. Okay. Big time! Back body drop by Nino Capone. I met Dan Lopez, not Dan Moth. Dan Moth is dead. Cover here by Nino Capone. Hook of the leg. But Dixie gets the shoulder up. Luckily for the Insane Dragon, Dixie still continuing on in this contest. Because if not, do you think we might see the brother versus brother feud again? And I think these guys don't want to see it. They killed each other when they feuded against each other. And even they decided, you know what? Let's be on the same side to get some gold. Oh! Nice move by Nino Capone. He, says, he calls that, that's a sweet move. Hook the leg. But Insane Dragon distracting referee Sean Hansen. Nino Capone could have had the win right there. See, that's Insane Dragon making up to his big brother. You know, I kicked you, but you know what? You're not going to get pinned because I will distract the referee. That's what Insane Dragon's doing right there. Huh? What's this? we got to chase. Capone making a cardinal mistake going after the Insane Dragon instead of turning his attention to Dixie. Hangman's neckbreaker by the former Triple Girl champ. Hook of the leg, and that's it. Just like that, Dixie comes out on top. With the assist to Insane Dragon, but you know something? It's an impressive victory for the former Grand Slam champion Dixie. And we're gonna hear some words from Dixie. God help us. With a mouthful to the fans here in Broadway. Look at that. Whoa, that's Arcadia. Insane Dragon and Arcadia going at it. We got a double team by the H effect. Arcadia coming out of nowhere, trying to save Nino Capone. It was Capone and Arcadia, the last two athletes involved in that six way, six -way mayhem match. And Arcadia trying to help Capone, but making a big time mistake. And anyway, it will be May the 21st, Braintree, Massachusetts, the Braintree Armory, the H Effect Challenge, the Heart Foundation for the JAP Tag Team Championship. Oh, you're gonna die. 